even if you are healthy, you can still get flu and give it to others without knowing. You could pass it to your family, friends, colleagues, and people you care for who can get very sick from it. But there's an easy solution, getting the flu vaccine. I understand you may worry about its safety, but let me tell you, the flu vaccine is safe and works well. I know that because I've heard it myself every year. Now, you might be thinking, I got a flu vaccine last year. Do I really need it again? Well, yes, you do. The protection from the vaccine fades over time and the flu virus ch changes. So it's important to get that vaccine every year. The World Health Organization studies the flu vaccine all over the world and tells us which strains should be covered by the vaccine. With COVID and flu expected to be spreading this winter, it's also crucial that frontline healthcare and social care workers get their COVID vaccine. This is, isn't just protecting ourselves, it's also safeguarding those we care for. I understand that you might have worries about the safety of the vaccines, but extensive research and monitoring confirm their safety and effectiveness. Did you know over five and a half billion people around the world have now had at least one COVID vaccine? This gives us real evidence and assurance about their safety. Regulators all over the world reviewing emerging safety data and people involved in original clinical trials are followed up for a number of years. And that is very reassuring for the safety of these vaccines. If you're pregnant or breastfeeding, don't hesitate to get the flu and COVID vaccines. They are safe at any stage of your pregnancy and during breastfeeding. It not only protects you, but protects your baby once they are born but too young to be vaccinated themselves. Vaccination in pregnancy is highly recommended because catching flu or COVID can be serious for you and your baby. So please get your vaccination. As with previous dose, the common side effects that from the vaccine that you can get, they include feeling tired, headache, general aches and pains, or mild flu symptoms, or feeling sick or actually being sick. But you can rest and take some paracetamol to make you feel better, but make sure you follow the dose advice on the packaging. We are very open about the fact that there can be some side, other side effects, but remember that you are getting protection from flu or COVID and those are much worse than the effects of the vaccine. There have also been very rare cases of inflammation of the heart called myocarditis or pericarditis reported after vaccinations. These cases are very rare and have been seen mostly in younger men within several days of vaccination. Most of these people recover and feel better following simple rest and simple treatments. These side effects are very rare and greatly outweighed by the risks of severe disease from getting COVID. It's very easy. Your employer may offer them and may give you a voucher for the flu vaccine, which you can use at any pharmacy that accepts them please just check with the pharmacy or you can book online through the NHS app or call 119. There may even be walk-in options near your area. I just want to emphasize that getting vaccinated against both COVID and flu is not just for you. It's also a way to protect everyone around you. We do it for ourselves, our colleagues, our family and the vulnerable people we take care of. So please don't wait, protect yourselves and others today. For more information and to book your vaccines, search for COVID jab or flu jab online. Together as a health and social care community, we can keep our city safe this winter. Let's all get vaccinated.